happening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> For those of you that do not know me, my name is Agatha Zimbizi, the first and the last baby boy, baby girl. Did you get that right? Like the first one and the last one. <laughs> and welcome back to my YouTube channel. All my returning subscribers. So I said subscribers. For all my returning subscribers. What's happening? Like, how are you guys? Comment down below how you are. And yeah, firstly, hello hat. <coughs> hello, my specs. And guys, I did my own braids, okay? And I, I have like 12 of them inside, but Pagati insects. Pet my tent on site. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, um, let's get into this video. I honestly don't know what this video is about, but we're just gonna try and go with the flip. <laughs> Trying to go with the flow again. Um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below how you're doing and share with all your lovelies. Okay, but before we go into before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I did film a video with Boy Pillow Shabalala, aka our favorite kid on the net, you know, shine pew pew pew. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh, I just watched TFG. If you haven't so watched it, I check it out. It's pretty great. Pretty amazing, you know, shine. <laughs> check it out. The link will be down in the description so, below. I was actually asked. I did like a young thing on Instagram a long time ago. I think like last year or this year. I can't remember. But I did like a young Q&A and I was like, guys, please give me some YouTube video ideas. And um, somebody sent, said I should do a, my high school experience. And I was like, why are you trying to do that for? Like, what was the reason? But then I was like, hey. That could be a very interesting topic to talk about for myself also, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, let me actually do a video on it because it was suggested, so it so, scares me. And I just want to also talk about my high school experience. So I don't think my high school experience was that interesting to be honest, but you know, there's a little bit of tea here and there and there. <laughs> you know, like, like, I need to get some water or like a glass of juice. Let me get a glass of juice because I need it. Okay, I got woo, a bottle of water. I didn't want to get the juice because you never know what the juice might give you. <laughs> okay, high school. So I went to the same high school from grade 8 to matric. Amazing. Hold on. So we went to the same high school from like grade 8 until matric. You know, same high school. When you went high school, if you went there, comment down below. When the audience class of 2018, <laughs> comment down below. So, grade eight was a pretty interesting year. Let's like let, let me try and like run through it pretty quick. Um, grade eight was pretty interesting. I remember. <laughs> I remember in grade eight, uh, first day of school, I was a bit late because we had to drop off other people also from Bryanston. We had to drop off Kaylee's for Bryanston. You made me late Kaylee's. But yeah. Um, so what happened? Okay. Got to school. Got to the tarmac. And you know. Saw people that I knew from primary school. And automatically gravitated towards them. It was a safe space. <laughs> I went there. And you know. Yeah. I met a few of my friends. And then this little girl called Sandrine was so <laughs> Sandrine, uh, those of you guys that know Sandrine is my chobi. Um, I saw her, went to her because you know we were friends in primary, and this little girl tried to run away from me. <laughs> Sandrine didn't want to be friends with me for like the for the day. She was just like, uh, ee, ooh, ee, ee. <laughs> but yeah, um, turned out to be a great friends. Um, then it was like a whole thing of like I think in grade 8 people were super mean you grade 8s were mean okay if you were in my grade 8 group you were mean because there was this whole um, thing that because we came from Buckley primary we didn't really uh, speak the knack you know we didn't learn like some of us 
we just looked dodgy like we didn't know how to speak for neck so a group of girls i wouldn't i won't mention no names now i was standing with them <laughs> that's the most disrespectful part is that i was standing with them we were standing in a circle and these girls were talking about me in zulu but now they don't know the girl she is versatile man i'm like a reptile man eh? i'm like a reptile is it yeah. wow i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> I'm, I'm like a chameleon. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like a chameleon. I blend in, you know. You want to speak English? Let us speak English. So, it was a whole thing of like, they were talking about me. And in Zulu, on top of that, because Zulu is quite easy to understand and to pick up. And I was like, I was dumbfounded. I was like, are these girls really speaking about me with me like and then i was just like okay gonna let it slide next day they did the same thing and i called them out i was like yes in your girls were shook listen baby girl listen linda the girls they were shook they were shook but anyways, we move, right? Anyways, we move. So, um, hold on, guys. Nah, like, oh. Okay, grade 8 was fine. Grade 8 was a pretty good year. Uh, made friends, you know. Um, grade 9 came. Then grade 10. Wow. Grade 10 was just a mess, I think. Personally, for me, I hated grade 10, you know. Kicked us out of the squat. <laughs> Yo guys in grade 10 they kicked us out of a squad um but no hard feelings i love you guys but you guys kicked us out of the squad why <laughs> it's fine but we got kicked out of the squad everything was cool like well it wasn't cool because we were kicked out of the squad <laughs> like and it was a big squad but they kicked us out okay fine then okay grade 7 grade 10 sorry kept it moving pushing you know we were we were moving even though they kicked that us even though they kicked us out of the squad we were moving every time you would go to class or like um hang out with a different group of people it was like so why did you guys leave or did they kick you out and you're just like i don't want to talk about it but feelings are still hurt because they kicked me out of the squad <laughs> but it's fine no hard feelings guys i love you guys bless up but yeah they did kick us out of the squad <laughs> okay fine then in grade 10 um oh yeah then there was like a young a young thing that happened between me and somebody like i wanted to fight with someone <laughs> i wanted to fight with corinne and i can say her name now because corinne and i are like cool now like we speak speak now like it's nice um, but I do want to fight with Corinne. I don't know how that would have gone down because guys, I don't know how to fight Okay, I can't okay. I can't say I don't know how to fight because I've never been in a fight The last time I was in a fight was like when I was in primary school at my old school I think I was like in grade 4 or something. So I Don't know if I know how to fight but the, the, listen now that doesn't mean that I can't throw <laughs> because i probably can like i wanted to fight with corinne over something really 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 childish and stupid but <sighs> we move I d but i did want to fight with you corinne like you were gonna catch these hands somehow i don't know how but somehow we were both gonna catch ca catch hands but actually you know what i would i would have probably just sat on you bruh like i would have just sat on you dead <laughs> But yeah, um, I really don't know how to fight people assume that I can fight and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I can't fight because you already assumed <laughs> You've already assumed that I can fight and that I will win so I'm not not gonna come to you and be like No, I actually can't fight. No, I can fight but I can't fight but I can fight But I can't fight but I can fight but I can't fight <laughs> so it was just like a little stupid thing anyways um, grade 11 mm, who 
did we hang out with in grade 11? I know it was me, Pumbelela, Brittany, and Sandrine. And then we started moving from like <laughs> places to places. We didn't have places to chill at break. And grade 11 was, was a messed up year, actually. Grade 11 was just a dizzy year, now that I think about it. Lost, I, I personally lost some friends. Do I want to be friends with them again? <laughs> Do I have like beef with them? No. <laughs> no, at the moment, not even at the moment. Like I think I've gotten to the point where me, I don't have beef with anyone. If you have beef with me from, from high school, that's pretty like childish. Maybe that's why Corinne and I decided to like squash our little beef because it was super childish and like we're grown up or whatever <laughs> but yeah grade 11 was super dizzy i didn't know um like which friendships like which friends were like my friends but then grade 12 grade 12 was amazing shout out to the new but squad. my squad in matric you guys know yourselves shout out to you guys because i'm not gonna lie i was super lost in grade 11 i was so lost I was emotionally drained grade 11 drained me matric was pretty great because i had like friends and we were, we're like, like a, a we're in a big squad. squad but we were there and then you <laughs> and then chantal and her friends <laughs> and then chantal and her friends found our group chat where like 